at five, a biker's recovering right now from a close call with a car. Tonight, he's using that experience to push for change on our upstate roads. And state troopers say these run-ins are a problem all over the state. Christine Scarpelli explains what can be done to stop this dangerous trend. Violated. It's the only word Barry Peters says can describe the way he feels now after he was hit by a vehicle while riding his bike Sunday morning. I just can't fathom why somebody wouldn't stop if they really cared about human life. He was on Highway 101 near Greenville Spartanburg Airport. This road was the last thing he remembers before someone shook him awake on the ground. The GSP police say it was a hit and run. Peter suffers a dislocated elbow, a painful injury to his back, and can barely walk. I feel very lucky to be alive at this point. The Highway Patrol says bicycle versus vehicle accidents are happening more often statewide. Troopers say sharing the road is a must, and cyclists are legally able to ride on any road a car can drive on, other than interstates. Here at Gusto Cycles and Taylors, this group is getting set for a ride through Greenville County. They say knowing the rules of the road will help protect everyone. Texting, you know, on the cell phone, you know, not paying attention, you know, cyclists start smaller than a car, so it is is a little bit more difficult to see. On Highway 101, there is no shoulder, but cyclists are still allowed to ride to abreast. Schmidt says cyclists must do their part to stay as close to the white line as possible and signal at intersections. Peters says a wide shoulder can help, but in his case, it isn't always available. If motorists had the same appreciation as most cyclists do for, you know, the potential harm that can come in an impact, that we'd probably be okay. He says he's thankful. He's around to help spread the word and raise awareness that cyclists can use the same road to spin their wheels. In Greenville County, Christine Scarpelli, 7 on your side. Keep in mind, police are still looking for the driver who hit Peters on Sunday and took off. You're